Hey guys, I'm Mezzi. The War Within is releasing very soon and Blizzard has spread out their information on what content becomes available when over a couple of posts and graphics. So I thought it would be good to put it all in one overview. All the dates and times in today's video are based on the European server time. The release schedule consists of six different moments at which certain content becomes available. The early access launch at midnight on August 23rd, this is the night from Thursday to Friday. The official launch date at midnight on August 27th. The first weekly reset for EU on Wednesday the 28th of August at 6 in the morning. And for the US, this is of course on the Tuesday before. And then there's the first three weeks of Season 1. Season 1 Week 1 starts on September 11th for the EU and the 10th for the US. Week 2 is of course a week later on the 18th. And then Week 3 is the week after that on the 25th. During the early access launch, the first wave of content becomes available. The War Within leveling campaign becomes available with the four new zones to get to level 80. And while there hasn't been any official communication on it, it looks like the first chapters of the max level campaign will be available as well. But of course, we'll have to wait and see to be sure. The Earth and Allied race will be available through playing the leveling campaign and a bunch of side quests. The new Delves feature will be available on difficulty tiers 1, 2 and 3. Of course, there's the 8 new War Within normal dungeons that become available. 4 of them become available while leveling and the other 4 join the pool at max level. And lastly, the new Battleground Deep Hall Ravine will also finally be available. 4 days after Early Access we get the official launch of the War Within and with it one new type of content. The heroic difficulty for the 8 War Within dungeons unlocks so you can continue gearing up. The last big milestone before we have to wait for Season 1 is the first weekly reset in each region. With the weekly reset, the weekly activities become available. This includes weekly quests for large amounts of renown, world quests and profession weeklies. I will note that this is the only part of the video that is based on assumptions based on how they were timed with the release of Dragonflight. No explicit date was given for this content beyond the short statement that they would not be available in early access. Two weeks after the first weekly reset, we finally head into Season 1, with a ton of things becoming available. All Delve difficulty levels will become available, from Tier 4 all the way up to Tier 11. The only thing that will limit your difficulty level is how far you can make it. The new Seasonal Dungeon Pool will of course become available as well, and for the first time, the season's old expansion dungeons will also be available on Heroic, scaled to our max level. Furthermore, the Heroic Dungeon item level for loot will be increased compared to the loot that they dropped in the preseason. Mythic Zero will also become available this week. Based on the communication from Blizzard, this will only be the 8 Season 1 dungeons. That means the 4 War Within dungeons that are not part of the Season 1 dungeon pool will seemingly not be available on Mythic difficulty. As a side note, in the War Within, Mythic Zero dungeons are available on a daily lockout instead of a weekly lockout, giving you more chances at gear. Moving on from dungeons to raids, the world boss will become available, as will the new raid on normal and heroic difficulty as well as the first wing of LFR. Lastly, the new PvP season starts of course and new to this PvP season is the solo rated Battlegrounds queue. In week 2 we get more difficulties and content. Mythic Plus will finally become available. Remember to do a Mythic Zero to get your first key. Mythic difficulty unlocks for raiding as well, meaning that the race to world first will start. On the more casual side, LFR Wing 2 will open already. And on top of that, we get the new story mode. With this feature, everyone can experience the end of the raid story before it becomes available on LFR. And then lastly, we have Season 1 Week 3, with just one last content unlock. As you might have guessed, the faster LFR unlocks continue and conclude with Wing 3 unlocking. And that's it. The release schedule is quite spread out and it feels like they could have made things less complicated. But it is what it is. If you're looking for an image version of the schedule, I've put up a tweet of it over on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description. Good luck with the release. Let's hope it goes well. For those interested, I might be streaming my attempt to be the Realm First Level 80 during the Early Axis release. I got Realm Second with Dragonflight, so fingers crossed I finally become the first with the War Within. I'll post a confirmation on Twitter if I finalize the plans to do so. And that's going to be it for me. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe and share it with others. I would very much appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You can also follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at twitter.com slash and twitch.tv slash For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.